too. Um, I'm wearing the same clothes as I was in the last video. Um, or maybe that video is not out yet. I don't know. Um, I was repotting some plants today and I found mealybugs. I found mealybugs. Um, and I am going to show you guys what mealybugs look like um, so that you know how to treat them. And I don't actually have rubbing alcohol, but I'm going to see if this hand sanitizer does it. Um, it's just a propagation that I gave my sister of like an Australis Lisa, so it's not like a super important plant, but there are some mealybugs, and so I'm just gonna kinda like show you guys, um, and then we're gonna fix it. This leaf, they're right here. They're those fuzzy looking things that are on top of each other. Um, and then we have some on this stem too, right there. And oh, a couple on this stem, wow couple in there, one up top up here, if you guys can see. Um, this one, there's a fuzzy one right up top. Really easy to spot. I've never seen them before in my life. Um, this one was the only one that didn't have any, but I'm going to treat it anyway. Um, these ones I think both had, yeah, there's one there. Um, this was a plant cutting I took from my big mother plant and then I gave it to my sister who put it in her room and was just propagating it in water and then we potted it into soil and I actually knocked the pot over and I broke it, I smashed it and so then she put it back in water and I was just going to pot it up for her in a new pot because I had a couple other things that I was potting and yeah, I found those. So. I am going to do the good old, where are they? Oh my gosh, they're all over the leaves and everything. I'm gonna do the good old Q-tip and alcohol bit. And if it doesn't work, I'm gonna throw it out. But I thought I would just film it just to see, you know, if this even works, just so I can kind of show you guys. And I'll document it and I'll let you guys know if it worked. Um, afterwards. Sitting here, have some q-tips. Um, normally people use rubbing alcohol and I am going to use hand sanitizer because I don't have rubbing alcohol. I think you can probably use hydrogen peroxide but this is 70%. This is 70% ethyl alcohol so I'm assuming alcohol is going to kill them no matter what and this is actually 98% plant derived so I'm gonna Okay, so instantly they just came right off. I'll show you guys. So it came right off. Oops, okay, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna show you like this. I'm gonna show you like that. It came right off onto the Q-tip. Okay, and it actually, it turned brown. So I'm pretty sure it did kill it. So I'm going to collect them somewhere. Oh, I opened a package from Amazon. So I'm gonna put them on this, um, this little bubble wrap here. So I'm going to continue with some, I'm gonna just set the um, hand sanitizer. I'm gonna make like a little pile of it and then I'm just gonna dip into it. And we're gonna, I'm gonna to try to make it so you can see. This is so weird. I'm literally out of my porch, was enjoying my plants. Where did it go? There it is. So I have the leaf here. I'm so sorry, I'm really not good because I've never done this before, but I just kind of rubbed it with it and it literally comes off just like that, like it's gone. And it's on my thing and it turned brown. I'm assuming it died. So I'm just gonna like check all over the leaf, make sure there's nothing else anywhere else, like any spots. And then I'm obviously going to like, just take them to the sink and wash them off really good before I pop them up. And I'm also going to like quarantine them from all my other plants. Just make sure like none of them, none of the other ones get sick as well. So in my experience, this is working. They're coming off for sure. So I think that this is okay. I think mealybugs are something that don't cause too much damage to the plant. Like, once they're off kind of thing like I don't think they're the ones that like breed into the plant or anything so I think we might be okay but um I don't know maybe this is what ethyl alcohol my dad was like I was asking where we have the uh rubbing alcohol he's like I have isopropyl alcohol just use like um like antifreeze for your truck and I was like 
I don't think I'm going to put antifreeze on my plants. Thank you, though, because that's isopropyl alcohol. So, I don't know. I'm sure any kind of alcohol works to kill them. Um, but I'm just going through the stems here on this guy that didn't have any just to kind of be careful and make sure we get anything if there is any. Um, and I probably will, you know, I'm going to wash them off and then take a look. So I'm looking undersides of the leaves. Don't see anything. I see one on the stem. Don't see any anywhere else. But yeah, they just wipe right off. So that's great really good good for me i thought that i don't know i've never dealt with pests before literally never i've had fungus gnats and oh spider mites on like a plant but that is it it was an alocasia poly and i separated it from my plants it's still alive it's completely on its own uh, it keeps getting spider mites and i just keep uh I keep taking them off and spraying them and they keep coming back, but I don't really care. I don't really like that plant anyway. Um, so it's none of my like, none of my good plants that are affected. So they could have caused some damage to these leaves, but it was a really big hanging basket of Australis. So, and none of my other Australis are like this. So I don't think it was on the plant previously. Um, because I do still have cuttings on my shop actually of these and these were in a completely different side of the house So I'm not worried at all like my other ones I'm obviously gonna check just in case but this has to be something that happened recently because like I literally repotted this for her Like maybe we repotted them like maybe a month or two ago like a month and a half ago and There was nothing I would have seen them. I was helping her so just rubbing them off and they just keep coming right off so that's good you can see all the, I'll show you all the little dead mealies after I have to sneeze oh my goodness oh my goodness okay sorry guys okay I hope this is helpful if I'm doing this wrong let me know oh my gosh there's so many this is the one with a lot they just wipe right off, which is great because they weren't really moving before. I'm like, it's one thing to see pests online, but it's another thing to see it in person. Um, like I work at a garden center and you know, every garden center has their case of a couple bugs here and there. You have plants coming in from all over the world um, sometimes. And so, you know, there's always chances of, of things happening and coming into contact with you know, bugs and things like that, but it's important that you treat it. So I've, you know, treated spider mites in the garden center I work at. Look, we got two in that one. One, one, two. Ha, it's on my hand. Um, so yeah, treated that before, mainly just spraying, but I've never really actually had to deal with any pests before. So I'm very new to this, but you know, Maybe it gives you guys an idea to try um, hand sanitizer if you don't have rubbing alcohol, because it worked for me. Um, but I'm just giving every little one another once over, all the little crevices and everything, making sure that they are clear. Sorry, I'm uh, probably not filming this the best, but I really want to make sure I get every single bug that was on here, because... I don't like bugs. Actually, I do like bugs. I just don't like pests. I don't like pests on my plants. I don't like pests. Looks like we got everything the first time. There's only some dirt and stuff. So I'm going to take this to the sink. Oh no, the new growth point. Oh, you're kidding. It snapped at the new growth point. Okay. Well. Um, I'm gonna wash them off and then repot it. Sorry guys, my phone died and I forgot to film an outro, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you learned how to get rid of mealy bugs. Again, I'm not an expert. Um, this is my first time dealing with it, so if you guys have any advice for how to deal with other pests or pests in the future, then let me know. Um, I just thought it'd be really interesting to kind of share that um, here and just kind of, you know, share what I did to get rid of it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.